Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial video here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up NiceHash with HiveOS, or HiveOS with NiceHash, however you want to word it. But we're going to be taking a look at how to find your best profits for NiceHash as well, and then the Stratum Generator and a few things, just to make it an easier setup for you with HiveOS. And so you know what you're going in for with mining, because with HiveOS, you mine like certain algorithms, and you get paid out in Bitcoin. So if you mine like Kapow, you're not being paid out in Raven. You being it's being converted over and being paid out in Bitcoin. And NiceHash does all the converting and everything for you. I've made videos in the past about NiceHash and everything about it. But yeah, we're going to be taking another look at it now that I use uh, Hive OS a lot more. I figured to show you guys how to get set up with uh, NiceHash. Even though, like I said, there's probably a lot already out there, but I figured just to do it for my channel and with my style of video, I guess. Alright, to get started, the best way is probably to figure out which algorithm is the best to mine for your graphics card. So you want to come over to the nice hash profitability calculator, and there is two different options on the profitability calculator. You can do auto detection, so if you are on your mining rig, you can go ahead and detect whatever GPUs are on it, and it'll show you the profitabilities and everything for it. But what I do most of the time is manual selection, because if you are on another computer, you can manually enter the hardware or even on your phone or whatever. So click enter hardware manually if you want. And then you can select whatever currency you are using. So for me, I'm using uh, Canadian currency. So I type that in. And then you're going to put your electricity cost right here. And that's my electricity cost. It already has it saved from prior time. So that's what I pay for electricity right now. And for example here, we'll just throw a 1660 because that's what I have on one of my rigs. Just for a quick example. And then you click calculate. So whatever model of graphics cards, you just type it up there. And then you can put whatever number of devices you have. So if you have multiple of whatever graphics card, you can add that in. And then you want to scroll down. And it's going to tell you, depending on your electricity rate and everything, how profitable or negative you are. So right now it's 1660 on around eight cents a kilowatt is about four cents profit. So as you scroll down here, as you can see, it shows the income, electricity costs, and profit. Then it shows it on a one day span, a one week span, and a one month span. So you can kind of break it down and really see what's best for you in whatever scenario that you do have, depending on your electricity costs and whatever equipment you do have. And if you scroll down here, it's going to have just kind of a hash rate chart, I guess you can say. And then if you go down a little more, you can see what's kind of being mined more so right now with whatever graphics card. Uh, the one that's biggest chunk is usually the most profitable. So right now it looks like Zell Hash is the most profitable with the 1660, followed by Dag Hash Mod, uh, Dag Hash Mito or Mato, whatever, and then Kapow, ETC Hash, um, Kaku Cycle, and then Z Hash. So right now Zell Hash is going to be a go-to if it is in this case. Well, so whatever graphics card you do have, it will have it broken down on the chart down here. So you can kind of see what your best bet is for whatever algorithm. And if you scroll down, it's going to show your average power consumption rate for whatever graphics card or rig you do have set up. So it's just a matter of figuring out what GPU you have and figuring out your power consumption and hydro rate. And then it kind of go from there. And that's what this kind of does. It kind of breaks it down for you. So you can see what algorithms are best. So I just figured to throw this in the video. Just so then you can figure out which algorithm you do want to mine. So with that algorithm in mind. We can go ahead on to the next step. So if I were to use the 1660. I would remember Zell Hash Because that's going to be my profitable algorithm to mine. So your next step here is come over to the Stratum Generator. And that's going to be whatever algorithm that you did remember from the past step here on the profitability calculator so Zell hash so all you would do is click this drop down on select desired algorithm all the links will be in the description so you can follow along and go to whatever page I am on this is a stratum generator page so you click this drop down and as you see they have a wide variety of CPU ASIC GPU algorithms so if you know exactly which algorithm you're after you can just go straight to this page and be able to uh, click whatever algorithm and set it up for yourself so for example we're gonna click Zell hash and it's going to give you a drop down here and it's going to give you two different um two different stratum urls the one i usually use is a non-ssl depending on your setup you can use a ssl but most people i would assume are going to be using this top one so whatever algorithm you select just remember this top uh, stratum url you want to copy that for hive os and stuff 
and then username and everything but we don't really have to worry about that because hive os will set that up automatically for us sometimes same with the stratum url so it's just a kind of a precautionary step but at the same time showing you guys in case you do things manually or do things different way sometimes hive os automatically selects the stratum url but with both of those out of the way we can jump over to hive os now and we can look at the full setup now so over on hive os here i currently have my farm up and running my two gpu rigs and they're currently mining kapow on nice hash and being paid out in bitcoin so if you just click on it here and then if you have your rig set up you just want to come over to whatever rig you're going to set up for nice hash and then you're going to click on the whatever rig that you want to use and then you're going to come over here to the flight sheet tab and then you're going to click the flight sheets and then as that drops down um, you're going to see this little thing at the top here to manage your flight sheets or wallets go to the flight sheets or wallets page which reminds me make sure you do have your nice hash wallet set up so if you go to the wallets page here you can click add wallet and then the coin ticker would be btc because it's a bitcoin address and then you're going to copy your mining address or your wallet address from nicehash.com. So on your dashboard, you should be able to copy your deposit or your mining address, whatever they call it now, because sometimes they change your name. And then once you do have that, you can enter the wallet name like Bitcoin NiceHash or something, just so you have it remembered. I have it already set up for myself here, as you see, BTC, NiceHash, BTC. So what we're going to do is click back here and then go over to Flight Sheets. So once you're over on the flight sheet page here, once you have your wallet all set up and everything, you're going to come over and create a new flight sheet. So it's going to be right at the top here, just as soon as you click flight sheet. And then for coin ticker, you're going to go down and find whichever uh, nice hash dash algorithm that you are mining. So for example, nice hash dash kapow. And then you're just going to scroll down until you find the one that you uh, selected from the profitability calculator or the stratum URL. So for example, I'm going to do kapow here. And then for a wallet, you're going to select whichever wallet that you had set up there. So for me, it's the BTC wallet, I, as I showed you guys on my wallet page. So whatever name you set up, you just click on it. So just make sure it is your nice hash uh, Bitcoin address. And then for pool, you can click uh, nice hash. It should automatically have it selected as a pool because you have the algorithm set up for nice hash. And then here's going to be your pool server. So you don't really have to worry about the stratum generator. You're just going to click auto and it'll automatically pick the best location for you. You can click the SSL one if you are using SSL. So all you're going to do is click apply and then miner. It just depends what algorithm you are mining. You have to find out what miner can be used for whichever um, algorithm that you are using. So for me, I know Kapow works with like G miner. It's going to tell you what brand of graphics cards it works with. So Nvidia, AMD. So for this one, it'll be perfect. And then what you're going to do is click setup miner config. And it should automatically already have it all filled out for you because it is all running through NiceHash from the beginning of it, from when we added the coin. It's all registering as NiceHash, so you don't have to worry about filling in any information like that. And all you're going to do is click Apply Changes. And then you can do Dual Coin if you choose to, but we're not worried about that. And then you can name it like NiceHash Flight Sheet or whatever coin or algorithm you are mining. And then you click Create Flight Sheet. And that will create a flight sheet for you. I already have mine set up, as you see down here. So I have like my um, nice hash wallet, the server for nice hash, and then all of it's already preset. And as you see, I already have it all running like that. And I'm going to quickly pull it up on my dashboard so you guys can kind of see it firsthand, what it looks like on your nice hash dashboard. Once you do have it up and running, it should be look looking like this with the nice hash logo there that's how you know everything is running through to nice hash so once you have the hive os all up and running like i showed you here once it's accepting shares you should be able to go over to your nice hash dashboard and it should say the amount of rigs i have my two gpu rigs and then if you want you can click the mining tab up here and it'll give you more of a breakdown of your profitabilities and everything like that and as you see i have both my rigs here both of my uh, both of my GPU rigs. If you have a CPU rig as well, you can add that in because they have a couple algorithms for that. But as you see, it's going to show you your profitability for 24 hours. Mine's at a dollar and 11 cents. I'm losing a little bit of money right now, but that's besides the point. I'm not in it to make the profit right now. It's going to show you your unpaid mining balance, so what you're currently accumulating. That's what I have accumulated since the last payout. The next payout's in one hour, and then it's going to have your full wallet and how much Bitcoin you have. I usually exchange mine to Litecoin, so that's why I don't have too much. And then I put it into my own Litecoin wallet on its own core. 
But yeah, I just want to show you guys quickly what the rig manager looks like. And then I want to show you guys the strat and profitability. So you guys can go in setting up Hive OS with like the knowledge with nice hash. So you know how to kind of navigate it and set up the best profits and the best coins to mine. So that way you can come out, you know, hopefully making something depending on your situation. But right now there's not a lot of profitability in GPU mining, but myself, I'm just in it for the mining the technology behind it and just supporting cryptocurrency because i've always believed in it and things like that but this is just me building up my own amount of bitcoin or litecoin or whatever coin i mine for the next bull run because i have high hopes for crypto in the future but anyways that's a whole nother rant i didn't mean to kind of go off topic there but hopefully this brought some information to you guys and helped you guys maybe with something that you had trouble with in Hive OS or you couldn't get past. And yeah, that's pretty well lit. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure that like and subscribe button as lets me know you are enjoying it. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.